In this video, I'm going to talk about the imperial ruler and how to measure line segments using an imperial ruler. The imperial ruler uh, measures in inches. So uh, each of these uh, larger uh, uh, line segments here, uh, so these larger ticks here, measures an inch. So I got one inch, two inch, three inches, four inches, so on and so forth. And if you compare it with uh, the metric ruler, which is up top here, we could say that one inch is approximately 2.5 centimeters. Now, unlike the metric ruler, and this is where students run into trouble that are used to the metric system, the imperial ruler is not broken up into uh, 10 sections between inches, right? We're not looking at 10 sections here. We're actually looking at 16. So we have 16 little sections here. So the inch is broken up to 16 uh, sections. And so each of these little ticks here is actually 1 16th of an inch. And this is one of the reasons why we tend to use fractions when we're using the imperial system rather than decimal system, because this does not actually work very well for our decimal system. In the metric system, we had everything broken up into 10 sections, so that's uh, that would be a tenth, right? And a tenth would be 0.1. That works really nice with our decimal system. Here it's broken up into 16 sections. That does not work very well with our, our decimal system, so here we tend to use fractions. So each one of these little ticks is a sixteenth. So when we do the measurement here, we are going to uh, wind up using fractions. So let's measure this line segment down here. I'm going to bring this down, and I'm going to line up the zero. So just like when we were doing it with the metric side, I'm going to line up the zero uh, with one end of the line segment, and I'm going to count. What do I have? I have one, two, three, four, and a bit. Four and a bit inches. So I know I have four inches. And now I'm going to count the little ticks. So i got one, two, well, you know, it's sort of in between three and four here. So let's just call it three. So that's four and three what? Well, that's three sixteenths of an inch. And I write that as a mixed number. So this line segment is approximately four and three sixteenths of an inch. Uh, now, if you had said, okay, well, you know what? I want to round it uh, up here to the next line segment and say that's four sixteenths, four and four sixteenths. If you think it's closer to four and four sixteenths of an inch, uh, notice this fraction here. This fraction here, it can be reduced. Both the numerator and the denominator are even, which means it can be re reduced, and that's what you would do. So we would say that this is four and a quarter inches. Now, if you look at the imperial ruler a little uh, more closely, you'll notice that um, we have little ticks that are sixteenths. So we have these little, little, little tiny ticks here that are sixteenths of an inch. And then you'll notice that the next one's a little bit bigger. Two sixteenths is a little bit bigger than one sixteenth. And the reason for that is because two sixteenths is actually an eighth. So each of these little line segments here that are a little bit bigger are eighths. And you'll notice this one is in fact even bigger. And that's because that's four sixteenths, and four sixteenths is actually a quarter of an inch. So what you're going to see with your fractions and your pure rulers, you're going to see sixteenths, eighths, and quarters, and, and that's all pretty standard. So there you have it. There's the imperial ruler and how to measure a line segment using an imperial ruler.